Hey you guys, this is my long awaited, highly requested brow tutorial. So if you want to see how to get that brow from that brow, <laughs> keep watching. So what you'll need is a brow cream or a brow powder, whichever one you want to use. I'm using Makeup Forever's Aqua Brow in the shade 30, it's the darkest one. You'll also need a concealer brush. A small angled brush and any concealer of your choice. So starting off with a spoolie, I'm just going to brush my eyebrow hairs into place. And now I'm going to take a little bit of my aqua brow brow cream take a little bit at a time because it's easier to work with less product and if you need to add more you can build on later so what I'm going to do is create a baseline underneath my brow to ensure that I get the desired shape that I want so creating that baseline underneath the brow is also filling in the um, sparse hairs that aren't there so you're going to create that baseline and then I'm going to move up to create my arch. And then I'm going to connect the two and fill it in from there. And then I'm continuing on to the rest of my brow to fill in the middle part of it. And then without getting any other um, product on the brush. I'm going to take the remaining part of the brush and just flick it in the front of it to make it look most natural and you know achieve that gradient effect. So I'm flicking it upwards because that's the way my hairs are growing and it just makes it look more natural that way. And now I'm brushing all the product through. This is also going to create a more natural effect to letting the hairs come through the product. Now taking my concealer, I'm going to carve the bottom out, taking very small strokes at a time to ensure a sharp line. And I don't know, it's weird for me. Every time I get to the middle part towards the front of my brow, it always makes my ear itch. It's so weird. <laughs> so excuse that. So yeah, I'm carving out the bottom, and then now I'm going to blend it downward. And you always want to use a concealer that's maybe one, at the most, two shades lighter. You don't want that white, halo-looking cast effect. And then from there, I'm just going to blend it down. And now I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk blending sponge, and I'm going to blend it further to ensure no lines and get the most natural effect. And I'm not going to carve the top out on this one. I only do that if I make a mistake and I'm liking how it's looking, so I'm not going to have to carve the top out. And that is it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.